So recently I had a question about why was Babel a sin, right? So like, why did God get angry at the Tower of Babel? Or what, what was the problem with Babel? And I think it's a pretty cool question because it's kind of like, okay, are skyscrapers, oh, are skyscrapers sin? Is it a problem if you build a big building or something like that? And the answer is no. You know, that's not what it was at all. It had a lot more to do with why they wanted to build that skyscraper. It wasn't so much about having a big building, and it wasn't even quite the way the language of the text says it, that they might have a name for themselves. I mean, that, that is what it is, but we have to kind of translate that a little bit for our modern minds. What they wanted to do was establish themselves in such a way that, oh, there's a guy in an orange jacket going behind me right now. Can you see him? Nope, maybe not. To establish themselves in such a way that they could never be moved, that the world would come to them, right? That, that they would be founded in a way that could not be undone. And this, perhaps, just think about it in the context of the flood, which I know many people don't believe in. That's very clever of them. But if there was going to be another worldwide flood, right? If that was like the danger, what could happen if it rained enough to totally cover the earth? Hey, if we had like a really big building, like super tall, right? Like higher than the mountains. Well, then everybody would come to us because we'd be the safe place in the event of some crazy, you know, evolution-derived gnarly event that killed a whole bunch of people. Huh? So, it was really, in that sense, a desire to avoid the actual need to trust that they weren't in control, but that God is and, and was, that kind of thing. And they wanted to put their trust instead in themselves. They wanted to give themselves a foundation that was themselves. And so God said, yeah, yeah, well, that ain't gonna happen. And one way or the other, I mean, it wasn't gonna happen anyway, but he wanted to put a limitation on our development as well. And you might think, well, why would a good God do that? And the answer is, because the good God's good and we're evil, and everything that we develop only makes us more evil. If you listen to anybody today who is particularly mm, fascinated by things like, say, nanotech or uh, artificial intelligence, stuff like that, the most famous guys out there, the Weinsteins and the, the Busks, it's not like they're excited about these things. They're terrified by these things. Why? Because they think that I well, think it's going to destroy us. And they have good precedent in this. I mean, what did the technology of the last century do? Created the most deadly and brutal wars of that century. What do we have the ability to do now with the bombs that we've built up so that we don't shoot them at each other? Well, if we ever decide to shoot them at each other, blow up the entire planet many times over, completely gone, boom, bye, right? So it's understandable that we would, well, or that God would, maybe want to limit our evil capacity a little bit for a while, say until he could insert into history his antidote in the person work, Jesus, uh, the guy who is the answer. So he stalled us out in what? Uh, having to die because of what? Because we worked hard lives with the soil? It's not like we're all doing so well these days. I mean, life, life spans a little longer. Health span seems to be a problem. So, so don't tell me you know, we got it all figured out here. In any case, so why was Babel a sin then? Because it was an attempt to resist and reject the limitations which God had put on man, which is that man cannot rely on himself for salvation from his own sin. Huh? And it was wanting to do that, well, in the same way that we're doing a lot of stuff these days. Yeah. And, and what is God's purpose in this? Ultimately, to get you to Jesus Christ, to get you to a knowledge of the salvation which has been purchased once for all by that one bloody man hanging on the cross who three days later didn't stay dead. All right? Yeah? Cool. We'll catch you all later. Rock on.